Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jesse here. I uh, wanted to pass along a quick SaaS selling tip, one that I think you'll find super helpful. Hope uh, everybody out there in the podcast world is feeling good. It's a new year. Uh, hopefully, you've, you've had some time at this point to kind of goal set and look ahead and, and think ahead about how you're, you're going to crush it this year. So uh, one really interesting topic that I wanted to just share a quick tip on, uh, one that I learned a few years ago, actually in a really fantastic sales training seminar that I did. Uh, it was the high tech selling boot camp that was put on by Sandler. Uh, I can't recommend it enough. If you ever get a chance to do a Sandler sales training, especially the high tech boot camp, uh, I, I can't recommend it enough. It was really a fantastic experience. One of the most interesting seminars or lectures that I've sat through and just filled with some really good, valuable information uh, that that helped that helped really helped me improve my craft. So one of the things that came up in that session was this, uh, you know, sort of phenomenon that happens. And you're, you've likely been in this situation before where you have, uh, you know, a really good demo call or a discovery call or an intro call with a customer or prospect. And then at the end of the call, when you're uh, you're hoping to establish that next step with the prospect and you know usually a good next step is something like booking another meeting with a broader group of, of people on their side uh, you know adding in more team members a full demo of a solution uh, you know a pricing conversation would be a good next step these are all great examples of, of you know solid next steps but sometimes what, what happens is the end of these calls the prospect will say, Hey, it was really interesting, Jesse. Thanks for the time. Can you send me something? If if you haven't heard that yet in your sales career and you're just starting out, uh, just know that it's going to happen once a week, once a month. I mean, it's it's not uncommon for the very end of a discovery call or the very end of a demo call uh, for a prospect to say, "Great, this was interesting. Can you send me something? Just you know, send me a uh, a white paper or send me a blog post that your team has done. Send me a podcast episode or send me a webinar you guys have put on. Just something like that. It's, it's send me some more information. Uh, and they'll they'll say that rather than, "Great, this looks interesting. I want to book a follow up demo or a follow up conversation with so and so." Rather than say something like that, it's, "Yeah, we, would you mind emailing me over a, a PDF of of a case study or a customer success story?" You get the idea. So there's all kinds of asks. It could be anything, you know, kind of resource related. And so uh, a lot of times, especially early in my career, I was like, "Oh, that's cool. They want to like learn more and and they're." you know, they want to do more research and they're probably asking for this PDF, this case study, or they're asking for a white paper because they're going to go and do some, you know, FP&A or some financial planning and analysis around this, right? That's, that's, that's why they're doing this. That's why they're asking for this. But what I've found is usually, uh, I'm not saying it's every time, and certainly this doesn't mean that your deal is dead in the, in the water, but it typically means, and it's typically a polite kind of passive aggressive way to say, mm, you didn't wow us. We're not moving forward to a real next step. There's no actual next steps. Now, there are times when an opportunity might just not be ready. Uh, the, you know, Timing might just not be there and they are just trying to sort of fill that action next step void. I still say, even if the timing is not right, there's better next steps besides just, would you mind sending me a PDF white paper or a uh, customer success story? Uh, you know, if, if the timing's not right, you can schedule out the next call. You, you know, there's, there's tons of things you can do uh, to, to kind of fill that void. But I typically tend to think that if someone's asking for quote unquote more information, it's a, it's a, you know, passive aggressive way to say, we're not interested, you know, thanks for your time. So what do you do if you have a prospect that says, you know, send me this information. And by the way, one of the things that can happen is you can find yourself in this uh, this loop, uh, this cycle, this vicious cycle of sending resources over and then not hearing back from the prospect, or you do hear back from the prospect and they're like, great, you sent me a white paper. Now, can you send me a video or do you guys have any case studies? Do you have any business cases that you could put together? Hey, would you mind doing this? Would you mind doing that? And then you just become sort of this, this, uh, you know, uh, how do I put this? Uh, you just kind of be, you, you fall into this, this trap that they've set. And again, I don't think anybody means to to do it this way and it's not, they're not ill-intentioned, but a lot of times prospects, this is an easier path than just telling you, Hey, you know what? We sat through the discovery call. I don't think there's going to be a fit, uh, rather than being direct or saying, you know, the timing's not right, 
or whatever the, the actual reason is, this is a, again, a deflection on their part. They rather than being direct and being real with you as a, as a seller, uh, they're just going to kind of keep giving you the runaround. So definitely something to think about. Again, it's not a hundred percent of the time, always the case. And, and again, this doesn't necessarily mean your deal is completely dead, but it does mean you need to, to put on your, your, uh, you know, solutions hat and start asking some questions. And so if you get this, if you have a, a prospect say, why don't you send me a video link or, or why don't you send me some information, some resources, I would sort of ask the question back to him, okay, if I were to send these resources, uh, what would they be, you know, what would, what would be the purpose of sending those over? What exactly are you hoping to achieve with these and how will this help us get closer to the next step in the evaluation process? I think it can be pretty direct and depending on the relationship you've built by this point, you can really say, you know, you can kind of make a joke about it. Hey, uh, you know, miss, Mrs. or Mr. Prospect, we have a lot of resources and we get asked for a lot of resources all the time. They're all over our website, in fact. So if you want to go look at that stuff, you can, but I'm here to help facilitate a full evaluation is, you know, is there something that I missed here? Uh, is this not something you guys want to continue on with? Help me understand what the, the next step in your evaluation project is. And if there's no firm next step, or this is not something that's going to advance, just let me know so I'm aware. And I know either when to follow up with you or not follow up with you if this is not completely out of the question, right? So I think it's a good opportunity to be really direct. A lot of times what I'll say is, you know, especially when they're non-specific, send me some information. They don't really say what they want. I can kind of turn that back on them and say, we have tons of resources for you as part of your evaluation. Uh, you know, I could send you anything from videos to webinar recordings to white papers, to eBooks, et cetera, et cetera. Right. But what is it, you know, specifically that we need to do next? And, and does this have really anything to do with that? I'm of course going to help you build a business case and provide as many resources as I can to help you guys in your evaluation. But I want to understand first, you know, what the next milestone is in this project. And something that I've talked about a lot uh, in the past and something that I implement quite often is a mutual action plan uh, or a closed plan. You'll hear it called a closed plan, a mutual action plan, uh, mutual milestones. I've heard all those different terms for it. Uh, and it's basically a you know spreadsheet or document that you can work together with your prospects on to make sure that you're they're outlining their milestones for their evaluation. And you're also including milestones on your side because there's certain things you've got to do as well. You may need to do a reference call, uh, which means you need to kind of plan ahead and make sure you've got a customer on board to do a reference call. You may need to consider uh, you know, a final negotiation on pricing and you need to kind of bake that into the, the mutual action plan. So I highly recommend that. Um, but again, just be direct with your prospects. If they're sort of making you play fetch and, you know, and that's the analogy from Sandler is that you're, you're a dog playing fetch. You're just going to go and keep fetching more resources for them and coming back. And then they're going to just throw the ball again. And you're going to keep running after that ball. Uh, and you're not really going anywhere, advancing and doing anything. You're just going to be in this sort of vicious cycle. So that's the uh, selling tip. Don't let your prospects just dictate that. And, you know, don't let them be, uh, you know, passive about it in any way. You can take control uh, of the conversation. You can ask the right questions, which really is, okay, great. I can send you resources, but is this, you know, is this going to help us move this along? And if it's not, you know, I need to really understand what the next phase is of this evaluation so I can get you the right resources. Now, one last thing I'll say is this is not to say that you should never work with a prospect to build out materials that will help them present your solution internally. What I mean by that is you may at some point want to sit down with your prospect and help them build a slide deck or a presentation, a business case, uh, you know, a, a story. You could help them craft a story about another customer of yours that's found success with your solution. So those are things that I do do. Uh, I, I do do. I, I do uh, work on work. I, I work on those with, with prospects. Uh, so it's not to say you shouldn't build custom materials and you shouldn't enable your prospect as best as you can. Uh, but when it's just this like blanket ask for, yeah, we just need more resources. We need another PDF of something. Can you send that over? When it's vague like that, that's typically the telltale sign that they're just avoiding having a hard conversation with you. So I hope this helps somebody out there and uh, best of luck in 2021. And thanks for listening.